You have droned your project, now what? This short video is going to look at going from context capture data to site ops for creating plans to Luminar T for visualization. Firms are starting to drone projects in the preliminary and conceptual phase. The droning creates imagery that can be used in context capture to create three dimensional models, such as we see here of a church in Cedarville, Pennsylvania. This is accurate data that can then be used inside tools to create site designs. Inside SiteOps, there's an import 3MX file. Click on the file you'd like to import. SiteOps will read that file. Then you can clip the topography. Well, what's going to happen is the buildings, the trees, SiteOps will see that 3D model as having a surface. For example, we look at the trees across the north part of the project. SiteOps is seeing the trees as a surface. And we don't want it to do that. So we're going to need to get rid of that data. SiteOps has a pruning tool that allows you to go in, whether it's USGS or Context Capture or any other source, and remove that data so that we'll come back in and show the ground in that section. Now, once you've went through a project such as this one, identified the trees, the buildings, and any other areas you'd like to cut out, you'd want to go into SiteOps and start using the tools to create a preliminary plan. SiteOps has parametric design tools that allow you to create buildings, parking lots, other areas, playgrounds, and then once inside SiteOps with the pruned surface, you can grade the project. Lower right hand corner is showing that it's looking for the best cost of construction that meets the constraints. We can then see Red is cut, blue is fill, yellow is very little elevation change. We can see the contours. Now that we have a project designed and graded, we want to go out and represent this to our clients with something that they can understand. So we want to take this straight to Luminar T. Exported from SiteOps to Luminar T, it brings in the new context of the site, but also the surrounding area. This is a full Luminar T model. They can be used to create videos such as this one. Nothing will get clients excited more than being able to present a video like this showing the potential of what can happen on a property, do multiple videos with multiple plans from Site Ops to Luminar T that will allow you to look at different options on a project. So you can see the context capture data around it that shows how the project works inside the environment that exists. Add the little features that make this feel more like the final design, such as a scout hut, the church basketball court, a playground. As you would show this to the church parishioners, let them understand what is their new church going to look like. And then with Luminar T, we can even show this at nighttime so they can get an understanding of maybe where they would like to add some more lighting, move some different features around, maybe relocate the statue, and start making better informed decisions. Context Capture Site Ops Luminar T workflow will help you show your client the design intent and how it fits in the environment that surrounds it, thus making it easier for a client to make the best decision.